hi guys uh, today i'm going to talk about java array and uh, uh, we uh, very frequently when we run a java program we found uh, it's a common exception is called uh, java uh, array exception and the exception is array index out of bound exception so uh, we're gonna determine how it's gonna happen and a very simple sorting algorithm and and while loop so if you think that you can um, pause the video and if you think that you can figure it out what uh, uh, how you make or how you sort an an uh, java array then you don't need to i mean watch the video but if you think uh, if you are stuck and then you i think you should watch this video until end and java sorting algorithm is very interesting and i you gonna show you uh, you just pause the video and just uh, scratch the algorithm how you can figure it out and then here is the algorithm and if you think that you your pseudocode or your code is exactly like this one then you are perfect you are not i mean uh, entry level programmer that means you are upper intermediate level programmer right so let's see how we uh, do these things and also you here you see uh, uh, i do it by a while loop right so we also discuss these things so while we gonna uh, execute any array for example we remove any any array for example here uh, you think this is uh, this could be an array so is 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 and 5 means uh, so so this array is six the array length is six and always start with zero and and is go forward like this way and if you try to i mean execute remove or insert in anything here or you are going to access there uh, maybe you are removing first five four three two one zero and then you try to remove something else or you try to uh, display anything of the content of the sixth place then uh, a, an exception will be triggered and this exception is called index out of bounds exception so you might familiar if you are java programmer you might familiar with this exception but you might not figure it out how this exception occurred and what's going to happen that means you need to work with array length okay so here you see um uh, so these are here we are working with array length and here also we are working with array length so this is the array length now i don't like to i mean go too much theory i like to go on hands on like uh, how to figure it out to the sorting algorithm and making an array writing a program and also a tester class okay so let's create a new project and the project is of course a java project next and then maybe scoreboard scoreboard and then click finish and don't create So here I'm gonna create a new and a Java class and for example it's a game entry game entry and it's a simple Java class uh, 
so I like to take an number of entities So one variable is score and then string name means player name and his score and then I like to source and only I like to create some getter so and also make a constructor just right mouse click and then yes okay so I also create constructor and also let's make a two string method if we want to display these things so that's my game entry that's my game entry class now let's make a scoreboard that's the main algorithm will be there let's create a, another class scoreboard okay Num entries and I like to initialize it zero. And also I like to create an array here. Public game entry. game entry and as an array board how about creating constructor here same way capacity now new new game entry and so so when we create the constructor so it's simple like here is two variable uh, one is like an array 
and another is integer so here we initialize and when we create the constructor in the same time an argument will be passed as the capacity and then it will be initialized with this capacity into the array size okay now we're gonna write an function add function to add any value to the uh, any game entry into the scoreboard okay so public access specifier and return type is void and of course as we like to add the game then of course a game object we need to pass it game entry and e so our adding and sorting algorithm will be he here and it will be sorted like the larger number will be in the top of the array and the least number in the bottom of the array like if it is like a three-dimensional array then the top one first one will be top number then medium number then least number okay so here we are declaring a new score equal to e that means the game entity dot get score because we are adding the score from this object right if norm entries let's copy it here uh, is less than board dot length or new score new score is greater than okay so if the number of entries so when we run this program we will able to know the what is the i mean our array length because this is gonna initialize is here so array length is fixed here so if already we put for example here we put uh, as a capacity four and already we put like we add four number then we cannot so if it is less than then we can add a number so this is our precondition to add any number to the array or any object here we are going to add an object some object like a gaming score right and and also another condition if this one or this one like here what it is like new score if like new score is greater than then board means the array minus one so as you know like if it is like five five dimensional array then we can add five 
and always we minus because the array index start from zero that's why we uh, need to subtract one and then get score then if we write the get score then this particular location we can get the score then now this is the integer number and this is also integer number and if the existing array number is greater than the new score then just is execute this one okay so again here we write another if condition if num entries num entries is less than length is put on the then what's happened now entries plus plus now we declare another variable called for example j equal to now entries minus one Now we are writing the while loop while j is greater than zero and this is the conditional and one dot get score get score is less than new score new score then if it is less than new score then it's going to keep continuing the loop what's happened it will be J minus minus otherwise hmm. we are going to give this one. So now here you just consider about like our array length is 5 and the array is empty. So what's happened like here this number of entry so this variable will count we have length of 5 but we only insert 0 or 1 means only we didn't insert or we just only insert 1 so when we insert uh, any number then it will be keep adding when we call this one then this variable will be increased when we reached 5 then that's it then no more adding here okay now 
only this one is for while loop so here we try to find out how many I mean entries is there for example five okay so now uh, if five entries there now five minus one five minus one because we start here from zero we need to reach up to zero that's why uh, we say minus one so j so for example if we have five entries already we inserted so now we need to run this loop okay so here this value is four okay so and the previous value is gonna check with the new score if it is less than then j means the fourth position will be third position because third one is less than of the new score okay and this way and it's minus one now again it's check the third position then second position none first position but if nothing is happened then if the first time then directly add here got it so just plug in any number of this especially number entries and j and try to analyze this algorithm now let's make a tester class new class for example edit tester oh shit i don't add any main method So we need to click it here, like public static byte main, as is a tester class. And just creating the object of game entry and scoreboard. So game entry e n t r y okay let me check here is integer and uh, string name oh okay uh, so it's uh, reverse order i put it so how about uh, if i change it here like this way first name same same meaning no not need to be ordered then it will be perfect see here so everything is like good so now here we create three object of game entry a b c and now we create an uh, scoreboard and when we scoreboard then we uh, initialize the capacity of the array here is a four dimensional array and we just add three value and just calling this add function and this add function is there like here this this add function of scoreboard now our array is ready now just need to print the array now s y s o this is a shortcut control space bar and then press enter and now array so we raise arrays dot to string and then yes dot board okay now let's run it save and run yes so score 
see so first we enter here 26 so this is the largest number so it's go first and then we add 6 but it's go second and last one we don't add anything so it's so if we add uh, one more things for example here uh, and here is like mac mac and then for example this one is 68 then it will go fast right but here uh, we need to write here m so s dot add and then m okay save and run so see this one is the first now then second so this is the way of the sorting so have fun friends and stay fine and please like my video and subscribe my video thank you thank you very much